guys to episode nine <laughs> of Chainsaw Man. Um, the last episode ended in a very somber mood, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully we'll find out more about who this new snake demon girl is. Poor Jimeno. Mappa does really great. Jeez, like even when they're like re- not reframing, but just showing like the, the scene again from another angle. It's still, it, it's pretty powerful. Oh my gosh. So did Himeno already like get like, erased before that had happened or because the snake ate the ghost devil? Got it. I'm guessing the ghost that will die, it's now Jimeno died. Either way, it's sad. And Aki is losing a lot of blood. And the breathing. Chance on Man is so good with sound design. <laughs> Did power take Denji somewhere, maybe? Oh no, the ghost is still alive. Did the ghost do that on its own, or was that like... Part of Jimeno's will. So, what well, everyone is after Pochita. <laughs> I love that they keep bringing back this song. <laughs> oh gosh. This, this, that shot. Jeez, Denji actually goes like demon mode <laughs> when he's turns into Chainsaw Man. Mm. Poor Aki. There's just it, there's such opposite emotions happening right now. <laughs> episode 9. I think this episode's like called To Tokyo or something. And also, to summon the snake devil, does she have to peel one of her nails off? Someone's. Is that Aki's blood? Hopefully not. Jeez. Chainsaws, I would think, are way more dangerous than the sword that the other guy has, but we'll see. Denji hasn't fought that often as Chainsaw Man, but he does great. The animation on the chainsaw is great too. Oh gosh. I thought they weren't supposed to aim for the heart. Aren't they after it? Jeez. The motion. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's not gonna care. <laughs> yeah, see? There's no way that he... He's gonna teleport. He killed that guy too, didn't he? Yep. Oh my gosh. Aki's still there on the roof. So he's like Denji. There's more people like Denji. They just left Aki? Or... Oh my gosh. They just... We just met them. That's horrible. Arai and Kobani can't actually be dead. I feel like... I feel like... I feel like those two and Makima aren't actually dead somehow. But the other devil on two is that... Uh, yeah, see, Makima's not human. <laughs> There's something about her. Jeez. New devil hunters. Is Malcolm gonna walk out of there like covered in blood? Whether she is or isn't covered in blood, something's still up. She's covered in blood. How the heck? What is she? <laughs> What? Is Makima- is that not actually Makima's body? And she's like, just you- what if she's a- f No wait, that doesn't make sense. Maybe she's like a fiend who can transport her like consciousness into other bodies? Are they gonna form a suicide squad? <laughs> 
What? The fact that she's just walking around covered in blood and the people around her aren't freaking out. They didn't, did they not see her? Dog skin? Oh no, wait, these are the convicts, aren't they? They get lots of snacks. I wonder where power went to. And what happened to Aki? Oh, this is the temple. What are they gonna do to the convicts? Why did she need 30 of them? Oh my gosh. They really just don't care. What the heck? Crow? Something bad's gonna happen. What? In the world is going on? Is Makima doing that? Does she need bodies to do? What is going on? <laughs> Every time it's disgusting. It's actually disgusting. Now she's sweating. So, okay, this has to be Makima's doing. She can do that from so far away? How? What is she doing to the convicts? Are they okay? Is she gonna kill them? So they can't see what she's doing. Hmm. She had a devil contract. That's interesting. It's gonna kill someone. I, 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 I don't want to see. Oh gosh. She can. So it's like Death Note, but she needs someone else to say the name? Why does she need random people that. What in the world? <laughs> they're all dead. You guys are dead. But also, how does she know their, their names? She just knows all of these people? That's crazy. <laughs> That's wild. Are they okay? No, they're dead. The convicts are dead. So they, she needs someone to say the name to kill them. And then the person who says their name dies? Are these people dead or asleep? They have, they're dead. <laughs> Oh, Helicopter? Oh, Kobani? Oh, we don't know her devil contract. It was a secret. But did Arai actually die? He did. He blocked it. No. Kobani? Oh gosh, Kobani is gonna have like an awesome. That I'm still sad about Rai. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How is she doing this? That's crazy. I would have thought that she would have shot the tires if she was gonna shoot, but still crazy. I don't know if that was part of her devil contract or that's just Kobani. <laughs> Gosh. Kobani's mind is gonna break. She's hyperventilating. Jeez. She is. There's so many things happening. Seems like it. 
Oh god. Oh no. Then he'll... Oh no. Jeez. So they'll all be Division 4. And they're all going to be under Makima's command. Interesting. We just met the other devil hunters on that, like, dinner thing. And now they're pretty much all dead except for Kobani. And now we're getting new, new ones. Mm. So. Are they twins? They have like opposite scars on their nose. They all have scars. Don't tell me Makuma had a feeling that like that's what was gonna happen. And now all those people are dead. <laughs><笑>残念。東京は美味しいお店がたくさんあるのに。it feels like like people were saying after the the um the black kiss episode that or starting from last episode um that now chains for me is really starting um and like like everything before that you can kind of treat it as like the prologue and i can see what they mean because it feels like a glass episode too, but this one especially felt like it did not stop. Like I had no breathing room. I had no time to think about what I was seeing, really, because because it was already going into another thing. One, the ghost hand. So maybe the ghost devil isn't dead, or maybe as it was dying, it was still doing. Him and I was like, well, to try and save Aki. So it pulled, because the pulling Denji's um, chainsaw uh, string from his chest is something Him and I has done previously. Um, so then we got Denji fighting the, it looks like swords or knives. That guy. Amazing choreography. And then, you know, Denji was doing good. He was holding his own and stuff. And then he was like, he held one of the um, accomplices and was like, you know, don't move or I'll, I'll like, you know, I'll get him. Of course, Sword Dude didn't care. He transported behind him and killed both of them. Well, not killed. Definitely killed the, the other dude, but sliced Denji in half. That was something to see. And then, as they were trying to put Denji in the car, Makuma calls for 30 of, like, the convicts who are pretty much on death row. Because now we see that she was going to use their lives anyway. And we, I'm going to guess that that's not Makuma's only power. But the fact that this is... Something that she can do is like another version of Death Note where she can just, she is killing people by either squishing them or twisting them until they, until they pop like balloons. But it seems like it's, it's not even trading on life because it seems like all those convicts are dead. So she needs someone to say their name. Of who she's going to kill. But whoever is saying the name also dies? So that happened. Oh. And then. And then we see Kobani in the distance. And I was like, oh, she, she survived somehow. <laughs> Does that mean Arai is okay? No. It seemed like, like Arai and Kobani too, as we just saw. But Arai seemed pretty apologetic about, um, you know wanting to kill Denji like he was the one in the bathroom with Denji when he was throwing up it, and Himeno this is like Himeno like as soon as someone's getting close to Denji who's not already like part of like the main group but just die <laughs> it sucks and it's interesting because I, I guess I don't know if they said it but we don't know how long Kobe and Arai have been 
um, a part of this. I'm assuming they're like relatively new. But Kobani has like some insane reflexes. Like she is swift. But it seems like, I don't know, I guess she's only, maybe it's kind of like a Zenetsu thing, but instead of her having to like pass out to be unaware, she has to be in like such a dire situation where it even overpowers her being scared. Because we saw how she is when she's scared, you know, freaking out like a normal person. But seeing Arai die, protecting her, just like flip something. Because she still looked kind of scared. Like, uh, or, like, her face was still kind of like, like, you know, as she was shooting the snake girl in the van. Um, and then she started pretty much having a panic attack. And how this job is going to make her lose her mind. Um, I think it's already starting to do that. <laughs> Considering what she just went through. Yeah, so that's interesting. I don't know if that's related to her devil contract because she kept it a secret. We didn't see any like devil parts help her in that whole thing that she just did. So for now, I'm gonna assume that, that that's all Kobani unless her devil contract is something that only affects her internally interesting i am going to be very interested in seeing how other people reacted to this because the first time that dude's head squished and every time after that too like the kiss thing was disgusting and like there's like gory parts in the uh, um previous you know scenes of the show but just seeing people's bodies pop like meat balloons that's something completely like different and something I don't want to see again. <laughs> the ending song also was amazing. I love um Aymer or Aymer, however you say it. Um, anywho, see you guys with another Chainsaw Man episode next week. Um, I hope this has like the season has like at least thirteen episodes because we're already on episode nine, so. It's, it's stopping and having like a long hiatus. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to deal with that. <laughs> so, bye guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, links in the description. I might try to add, some, add something here too. We'll see. Goodbye.